Hello and welcome back to Life of a Dev. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be going over the LuckPerms plugin. Uh, I use it on the servers that I work on and it seems to be a little bit confusing and I just thought I would take the time to go through, explain it out so if anyone ever has any questions on it, hopefully this can help them out. I'm not going to go over the entire functionality of the, the plugin, however I will be doing the main group commands, uh, group tracks, and user commands. Just the base stuff that you might need as a server owner, developer, setting up ranks, whatever. So we're going to start with the uh, base commands, um, so you have luck perms which if you do that it'll show you all the commands and it'll actually show you some good information along with it and so the first one to me is list groups so that you can see what groups you have you can see that I have the default group which will always be there and will always be your default group you can't rename that as far as I know so you kinda have to just put it all on there and set the prefix to whatever you want and then I have the dev group, which is just my all permissions group. So we're going to go ahead and create a new group. And to do that, you do slash LP, or you can type out luck perms. Luck perm. Um, luck perms, sorry. Uh, I like to just do LP, uh, create group, and then you put in the group name, which we're just going to call test you can see that it was successfully created and so now if we do our LP list groups you'll see test right there um, so now we to delete a group you just do LP delete group test uh, so then you can say that it's now gone again uh, we're gonna go back and create it because we're gonna use that to show off all of our other information but I figured that that would be a good way to do it. Uh, we're actually going to create one called test1 and test2. Um, so moving on to adding stuff to the group. So to see the group information you can do LP group test info which ours has no information yet because we haven't added anything to it. Um, so let's add a permission node to it. Um, so you do LP group test permission set and you can use any permission node you want I'm just going to use the wildcard and that will set it to true um, if you really don't want them to have it you can also do uh, false to start off with I obviously already have it so I would do a different command to get rid of it but um, that's coming up next and so like I said if you want to get rid of it you just change it to unset and it's uh, removed and then you can do the set false so that they definitely can't have it so I'll add that back so luck perms also has the ability to do uh, temporary notes so you can do test set permission set temp and you can put the node um, uh, just make makeup node call it made up node because it makes more sense and then you can do that and then in one day that node will be removed um, and if it gets to the point that you want to uh, get rid of it beforehand. You can just do the unsent temp and then it's gone. So LPP luck booms also has the option to check for a node. So you can do group test. You'll see that it has the permission. And then it also has a check inherits, which will check if all of its inherited groups or between all the inherited groups it has that permission. Um, that's all there is for the permission 
subcommand. So we're going to move on to uh, parents. So say you wanted to inherit from something. So we're going to do parent add uh, default. So now group inherits permissions from the default group. Um, so that's how you would do like an inheritance tree. You just kind of make your way up. Um, and then if you didn't want it to inherit from them anymore, you just do remove. And then you're all set. Okay, uh, then we're going to move on to the, the meta of the group. So, if I was to put myself into the test group, you'd see that I'd have no prefix or anything. So, we're going to go ahead and add one of those. So, LP group test, and then this would be the meta subcommand. Add prefix. So with the prefixes, um, they get turned into permission nodes, or command nodes, I guess. Um, and so when you inherit groups, you have to make sure that the weight, or the priority goes in order. So I'm going to set the priority for group test to be 1. So it's the lowest priority. So if you get promoted to say test 2, um, the test prefix won't make it up to that because the test 2 prefix will have a priority of 2. Um, so the prefix, and then we're just going to do a test. If I talk, you'll see that I have the test in there. And then, if you wanted to remove the prefix, you would just change that to remove prefix in the wait, and then you'll see that it's gone again. So, say you want to add, like, a temporary prefix. Something you can do. So you do one test one minute. So then I'm going to have that test um, prefix for a minute. And then all those also work with suffixes. You just have to change it to attempt suffix. The wrong button. Suffix. And then you'll see that I have a suffix after my name. So you can use that for like additional labels for people, um, special perks, stuff like that, whatever. Um, and then you can obviously remove the temp suffixes and prefixes by just doing remove temp suffix. Oh, I gotta get rid of the one minute. Um, but you see that I no longer have the suffix, so that works. And then if you do the LP group test meta clear, it'll just completely wipe everything. Which is nice. So now we're going to go on to um, the last part that I really want to go over with the groups, which is the, the tracks. So I have no tracks set up yet, but this is like the promotion tracks. So you can do easy promotions instead of kind of having to remember how they all go together. So I'm going to create a track called test. Which is all good. Now I'll do LP track for my command to a test as the track being made. Info. So you see it has no path yet. So then you're going to want to append in the order that you want them, starting from the lowest to the highest. So I'm going to append test and test 1, and you'll see that test goes to test 1, and then test 2. And if you kind of mess up with it, um, let's say we can do this, track, test to remove, test 1. So you see it goes test to test 2 but you want to still put one in the middle. You can do track, insert, test one, position two. Oh. Track, test. There we go. So you'll see 
it's now back in the middle and the one that's light blue is the one that you just added in or edited uh, you can also rename tracks track test rename tester you see that it was renamed and you can even clone it um, which I'm not going to worry about doing but it's there and then you can do the LP track test clear which will clear it um, I'm not going to because I'm going to need this to show how it works and so I'm still in test one or I'm in test and I want to get promoted to test one uh, it comes with a pretty nice um, user command for it. So you do LP user, the username, which is tapepredv2, promote, and then you'd put the track name, which is tester. So then you'll see that I was promoted to test one, and the red means that I was moved up that line. If I was to do it again, being weird um, but yeah so it'll show you where you are along the track and all that good stuff and you can also demote back down um, so user tape v2 demote test Okay, well I seem to have broken luck worms. Um, but those are some of the basic fe functionality. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Um, I don't have permissions on this group. Okay, um, so I'm back into group. So I'm back in the group uh, test, and I'm going to add the permission to group 1, um, but just to demote you do the slash lp user to promote myself back up, yeah. And then to demote, you would just do demote, and then they would get sent back down to the one below them. And you can also do a show tracks to see the track that they're on. And you can also do clear, which will just wipe it. Um, so the last thing, I guess, is you can add user permissions. Um, you do that the same way as the groups. You do set star. Oh, should have done that. Permissions at star. So now I would always have all commands. Um, you can see the info the same way, and then you can set parents the same way. For the parent, um, you can do add, which will allow me to have two groups. So I have test and dev, or you can do set, which will then have me to have only the one group, or you can do remove, which will just remove it. And you can also add temporary groups. So if I was to do parent add temp test. So you see, if I go back up to my info, I have test. And if I wait just a couple seconds. You'll see that I'm back down to only my parent group um, and you can remove them if they want if early if you want to all I have to do is remove the time and then you just do remove temp so that's basically the main set of information for luck perms that I would consider 
to be able to get things started. So I really hope that this helped people out. And uh, cool. That's all there is to it. Have a good day.